Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The Premier's major response to concerns about crime has been to cherry-pick statistics and deny that it's a problem. The fact that the NDP didn't mention public safety in their platform once is no excuse for the inaction and denial we're seeing from this government. For a government in its second term, it's a th an increasingly threadbare excuse. The Premier has had three years of majority government. Either he's in charge and responsible or he isn't. But since 2015, property crime is up 70 per cent, employees are being terrorized and now hospitalized by brazen thefts, and not just at liquor stores. Whatever this government is doing, it ain't working. Does this Premier recognize that on his watch, criminals feel as though they can steal as much as they want and nothing will happen to them? When is this Order. government going to enforce the law? The Honourable First Minister. Well, I'm, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I think you may be losing control here a little bit uh, because I wasn't able to hear the last part of the member's question. Uh, but I will say this. The part I did hear was something about he isn't working. And uh, I would dispute that. I am sure he's working very hard. Uh, but we are working even harder. We're working even harder to address the issues of crime in our province. And we'll continue to do that. We'll do it co cooperatively and collaboratively. We'll continue to work with other levels of government. We'll continue to work with the municipalities in our province. We'll continue to work with the police forces, the prosecutors, right. the staff, the experts in our province who offer advice. We'll continue to consult, and we will continue to implement, as we have been That's doing, right. strategies that we believe can counter the trend of individual behavior uh, that is uh, indescribably ignorant and hurtful. Here. The Honourable Member for St. Boniface on a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. When it comes to crime, this has been a do-nothing government. The Justice Department lost years of annual reports from the IIU. There's a crisis of the administration of justice in northern Manitoba. We have overdose deaths that aren't being reported to the medical examiner. A record number of murders in Winnipeg. But Thompson, Manitoba, is actually Canada's most dangerous city. We heard six months ago that anti-theft measures in liquor marts were working. But now the problem is worse than ever. Employees and customers are being terrorized and assaulted. Does the Premier really think the Justice Minister is doing a good job when it's clear that criminals can steal with impunity in this province? The Honourable First Minister. Appreciate a question on SNC Lavalin from the member, uh, Mr. Speaker. But that being said, we're addressing the issues of crime, crime prevention through a complex strategy, multifaceted, and all party, all hands on deck. If the member would like to get involved. Certainly, we have all the departments working collaboratively. We have initiated a number of programs specifically designed to address the social and, and the economic determinants, factors that can contribute to criminal activity. We have uh, consistently invested more in our families department, our education department, and health department to make sure that we are making the necessary investments, and we're doing so in a collaborative and foresighted manner, I might add, Mr. Deputy Speaker, as well. So uh, the member's assertions are false. Um, and this is why he is where he is. The Honourable Member for St. Boniface on a fi final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. For many years, the city of Glasgow was the murder capital of Europe. This changed after they took a different approach to reducing and defusing gang violence to actively intervening with gang members to get them out of the life with the creation of violence prevention networks. It worked. It is not enough to ask people and businesses to buy a stronger door that won't break when someone tries to kick it in. We want to reduce the number of people kicking in doors in Manitoba. Will the Premier consider an all-party task force on crime to work with communities in order to develop recommendations on reducing crime and making communities safer, not just punishment after the fact? The Honourable First Minister. What an incredibly misguided approach, Mr. Deputy Speaker to make false assertions, accusatory preambles, repeat them, put them on the record, and then ask for an all-party action committee. Mm. Mr. Speaker, we have no desire to do anything but work with the experts on these issues, and we'll continue to do that, and to work with community representatives, the police, the prosecutors, but also those engaged in community betterment. We are not focused uh, only on treatment, but also on education and preventative investments. And this multifaceted approach will take time to work, as it did in Glasgow. 